whether it's being an active person in your everyday life, playing sports or being fit at the gym, we all get our fair shares of aches and pains. And oftentimes our body is able to heal them on its own, which is great and that's exactly what we want to have happen. But sometimes your body needs a little bit of help. And that's what we're here to offer. Regenerative medicine is tapping in to your body's ability to heal on its own. It's really taken off, I think, in the last, um, the last five to five to ten years or so when it became a lot more affordable to the general public. Um, professional athletes, Olympic athletes have been um, having access to things like PRP or platelet-rich plasma therapy, stem cell therapies, and, um, and visco supplementation for a long time now, but it used to be cost prohibitive to offer to our to you know the average Joe, the average person walking into our office, and and I'm really excited to finally be able to bring some of these things that used to be accessible only to you know the millionaires and billionaires of the world to everyday people like you and me. When there's an injury in the body, what happens is there's a, an immune response that signals healing, and areas that have a great blood supply like the skin bleed immediately after there's an injury like a cut. Uh, with that bleeding, platelets, which are in your bloodstream, come and adhere to that site, and those platelets signal other healing cells, uh, white blood cells and so forth, to come to that area, signal stem cells that are circulating in your bloodstream to then come to that area, deposit there, and become new skin cells. When we get a fracture and we immobilize it, that bone regrows, and it regrows stronger. Regenerative medicine is really trick telling your body or um, stimulating your body to pay attention to an area to heal it better because it knows how, it just needs a little help. The nice thing about some of these treatments is they're not surgical, they have a quicker recovery, they can be done right in the office, and um, you see results pretty, pretty soon after treatment. And the goal is really just to get people back to to running, to being active, to getting through their workday without noticing knee pain or shoulder pain or elbow pain that might be getting in the way of things. There's three things that I can offer patients, um, and they're applicable to the knee and shoulder, particularly for tendonitis. Uh, so there's <clears throat> visco supplementation, there's platelet-rich plasma therapy, also called PRP therapy, and there's uh, 10x procedure that I do, which is a percutaneous tenotomy. And all three of these approaches highlight your, ability, your body's ability to, to heal. For example, patellar tendonitis of the knee. So it's also called jumper's knee, and it's a cause of knee pain right in the front of the knee. You notice pain with, with walking, running, stair climbing, all around the kneecap sometimes. And uh, what can happen is there can be microscopic injury from repetitive overuse of this patellar tendon and over time those small injuries uh, wear away at the tendon and cause some scar tissue to develop. That scar tissue then causes pain. Now each one of those injuries, because it's so small, wasn't big enough to cause bleeding and ensue, uh, you know, produce a healing response. What happens is you, don't, you end up getting the scar tissue and inadequate healing. But what we can do with the 10X procedure, for example, or percutaneous tenotomy, is go into that tendon with an instrument the size of a needle and remove the scar tissue in a minimally invasive way. Removing that scar tissue is kind of like peeling off a scab. It creates a little bit of bleeding, and that bleeding is exactly what we're looking for to help the tendon heal. So we remove that scar tissue, create some bleeding, and allow the body to pay attention to that area to specifically heal the area that's injured. And I do all of these procedures with ultrasound guidance so that I'm targeting only the area that needs to be targeted and leaving all the healthy tissue intact and unaffected. Platelet-rich plasma therapy is another option that's a possibility, and this is done right in the office. So this is PRP therapy. And what it involves is, again, relying on this principle of Blood flow improves healing. Your body just needs that blood to help get, get the healing response going. So what we do is we draw blood from a vein, just like a regular venipuncture if you were giving blood for a blood drive or um, you know, for a blood test. And we 
put it into a centrifugation filtration system that spins the blood down, then con concentrates the, those platelets and white blood cells and, and all the factors that help signal up your body's own healing response. We concentrate those factors and inject them with ultrasound guidance right into the area of pathology which in the case of patellar tendonitis or a patellar tendon tear, or for example, a tennis elbow, um, common extensor tendon tear, we can actually tar see the tear on ultrasound and guide the needle, right, a very small needle, very right into that area of injury and inject this platelet-rich plasma, which is then a signal for your body to come in there and build new tendon, which is exactly what's needed to help your body heal. And the neat thing about this is there's no hardware, you're, you're healing essentially naturally. And it's a nice alternative to uh, cortisone injection or other kind of medicines to subdue the body's response. It's actually taking advantage of your body's own capacity to heal. The third option is visco supplementation. And visco supplementation is injecting hyaluronic acid, which is a natural substance that's found in all of our knees. If I were to take a look at the knee of a healthy 10-year-old child and, uh, and, and drain the fluid in it, I would find natural human hyaluronic acid. And now we found a way to synthetically make hyaluronic acid, which can be injected into a knee to help lubricate the knee joint, promote a more healthy, natural, youthful environment in the knee joint, and reduce pain due to wear and tear uh, injuries to the knee. So these visco supplementation injections are a nice maintenance therapy for osteoarthritis of the knee. Uh, they're designed to help lubricate the knee joint, help uh, rejuvenate some of the cells that are in the joint, and reduce pain and improve function. Uh, these injections are usually covered by most insurance companies and can be offered twice a year as a, as a maintenance therapy. Um, you know, when used alongside physical therapy and uh, a good home exercise program. I was diagnosed with tennis elbow. Dr. Shamim told me about regenerative medicine and how this procedure would help fix my elbow. We went into the operating room. She told me exactly what she was doing. It really, it took about 20 minutes. There's no stitches with the procedure. It's just a little butterfly. I was in a sling and for a couple weeks afterwards, the sling really was if I was going out that other people knew not to bump into me. It wasn't necessarily that I had to ha have a sling. Um, but I unwrapped it two days later. I was able to shower. I started moving it. There honestly was no pain after the procedure. I feel great. I feel like I never had the pain before. Sports is everything to me. Like uh, my, my main goal is to you know, go to the NFL, of course. It's a big dream, it's a big goal. I played defensive end and offensive tackle. I, I got to the uh, Orthopedic Institute of New Jersey and uh, Dr. Falco, after he had um, worked on me and checked me out, he told me uh, that it could require like surgery, but instead of the surgery, he he uh, like he offered a PRP shot, which is called which which led me to Dr. Shamin. Before like the PRP shot uh, and going through practice and uh, you know going through the motions, uh, I thought a lot about like my knee and how it hold up. You know, if if I make the wrong turn, make the wrong move, or, or tackle the wrong way of some sort, I was always it's always in the back of my mind. It's always there. It's always bothering me. Like you know, after the shot, uh, I felt fantastic. You know, like when you're in that game moment, you, I don't you know think about my knee whatsoever. I don't think about cutting the wrong way. I don't think about tackling the wrong way. I don't I don't think about the knee at all. I kind of just think about you know hitting the quarterback or hitting the running back. You know, you just come off the line, you hit the guy in front of you, you get off and and you hit the quarterback for a nice sack. It's something setting you back and something hovering over your shoulder, you know, really, really sets you back because you're questioning yourself constantly on, on how you want to perform and how hard you want to play. And it's, it's very difficult, you know, to overcome something like that. And the way the PRP shot really, like, you know, helped me, you know, overcome those fears, as, as you can say, it, it like and completely changed my football experience since I don't have to worry about uh, my injury anymore. When you start to develop an ache or pain, it's your body telling you something. 
it's really important to listen to that signal. And it's reasonable to give it a week or two or taking some over-the-counter analgesics, but if it hasn't gotten better in a couple of weeks, it's time to take it to a specialist. It's time to get have someone take a look and see what's wrong and find out what you can do to help yourself heal and get to the bottom of what's going on faster rather than letting the process get worse. At the Orthopedic Institute of New Jersey, our job is to give you back your quality of life. I'm happy to help my patients get back to their sports and to their quality of life as quickly as possible.